Now let's have a look at using the HP 10B2. On your screen you'll see a scenario to the left and the HP 10B2 simulator that we're going to use to show you how to effectively use this calculator. First off you'll notice that the display shows 0, 0.00. We need to change this display either to a floating decimal place or to nine decimal places. If you're using the HP 10B2 Plus, there is a software glitch that doesn't allow you to do a couple of the functions if you have it set to a floating decimal place. What this means for us is that we're going to start by setting this to nine decimal places. First step to do this is pressing the Shift key, followed by the Display button down here on the lower right then we choose the number of decimal places we want the calculator to show us so we're going to press 9 and now as you can see on the display there's a 0 followed by a decimal followed by 9 decimal places now that we have that properly set let's look at our scenario to calculate a mortgage payment in this sample we're looking at a mortgage with a balance or an advance of $350,000 the rate is 3.5% compounded semi-annually, which is J2 equals 3.5%. The payment frequency is monthly, and the amortization will be 25 years. To use the calculator to calculate this mortgage, the first thing that we have to do is convert the rate. We have to convert the rate from its J2 rate to its J12 equivalent, because when we finally get down to pressing the PMT button, the calculator will give us the payment per compounding period. So we need the compounding frequency to be equal to the payment frequency, which in this case is monthly. So here we go. The first step, we're going to input 3.5 shift nom. That is the annual rate. 2 shift PYR tells the calculator there are two compounding periods per year. Now we have to convert this rate to its J1 effective annual interest rate. The calculator requires that before it can convert an interest rate to a different frequency. So to summarize, we're taking the J2 rate, converting it to its J1 equivalent, and now we're going to tell the calculator we want to know what the nominal rate is if we had 12 compounding periods per year. So the J12 rate is 3.474748759. That means that, that rate is equivalent or the same as J2 equals 3.5 percent. Now that the calculator has that information properly stored in it, we're going to describe the mortgage to it. We're going to enter $350,000 we're going to put a plus minus on this number and then enter that as the present value. The reason we're using the plus minus is because the calculator looks at this as a cash flow. Money goes out, money comes in. If we look at this as per, from the perspective of a lender, then this would be $350,000 out of our bank account. So we make that a negative. Conversely, when we solve for the payment, that will be a positive amount because that is money repaying the loan that we've made coming into our bank account. So we continue on. The next one is zero FV. That FV stands for the future value because the payment that we're calculating is going to be based on the full amortization to completely pay this mortgage off. The amortization is 25 years and then we're going to multiply that by 12 payments per year to give us the total amortization which is the N key. So we look at this and we see we're asking the calculator if based on all this information we needed to make 300 payments to retire this mortgage what would the payment be? And that brings us to our next step which is solving for the payment. We now simply press the PMT button and we have 1747.4461632 to complete the calculation we're now going to round the payment this payment would be one thousand seven hundred forty seven dollars and forty five cents because mortgage payments are always rounded to the next highest cent in other words if the answer here was one thousand seven forty seven point four four zero one six three two 
the final answer would still be $1,747.45. Again, the final payment is always rounded up to the next highest cent. I hope you've enjoyed watching this brief video on calculating a mortgage payment using the HP 10B2 financial calculator.